Something I wish I'd been more actively aware of as a young artist is that your art style is often inspired by what you want to do with your art. And you shouldn't try to fight that. You may think you want to draw in one specific style, but figure out later on that you prefer working in a totally different aesthetic, one that works better for the kind of art you're trying to make. I mean, if you want to be a YouTube animator, for instance, you shouldn't force yourself to work in the same level of detail as a Marvel comic artist. You just don't have time for that, and you don't need to do it. You can tell a great short story on YouTube with an art style as simple as, well, well this. And once you know what you want to do with your art, if you're still trying to develop a style, try copying some of your favorite artists in that field. When I was trying to develop a style for my animations on here, I went looking through channels like It's Alex Clark, and Odd Ones Out, and Cartoon Hooligans, and Draw With Jazza, Pantsless Pajamas, Domix, Amy Wright Meow, Ginger Pale, and a whole bunch of other storytime animators. And even though I tried copying their styles, I wasn't planning on ripping any of them off completely. I was just trying to figure out what I liked about their styles so I could put those elements into my own work. And from doing that, I found something that's decently unique, I can work with quickly, and fits into the storytime animation genre. And, you know, has my avatar in my favorite shirt. Beautiful Canadian plaid. And this tactic obviously doesn't just apply to YouTube animation. A few years back, I was trying to develop an illustration style for a bunch of projects that I wanted to do all in the same style. I needed an aesthetic that I'd enjoy drawing for a short film, a book series, and for art to sell at Comic Cons. At the time, I really liked artists like Jim Lee, gritty, dynamic comic artists with lots of cross-hatching, but I knew I needed something more manageable for my skill set, and something I could do quicker so I could finish the stories I was trying to tell at a decent speed. So I pulled inspiration from animated shows I loved, as well as artists I'd found on Instagram that I was a huge fan of. Despite loving detailed comic art, I forced myself to try drawing in styles of some really simple animated shows, and from doing so, discovered how much I loved drawing in cartoony styles. I could still do some really dynamic poses, but the simpler rendering meant I could draw more, faster, and tell my stories quicker. I especially liked drawing character styles from Spectacular Spider-Man, Teen Titans Go!, and the chibi style of Derek Laufman. I'm linking his Instagram in the description, by the way. His stuff is pretty incredible. Go check it out. Anyway, forcing myself to try out different styles helped me realize how much I like drawing characters with really big hands and feet. I'd been doing that naturally in my own work, and it didn't look so great on grittier comic characters, but for cartoons it looked awesome. And while I never thought I'd enjoy doing simple, cartoony rendering, I started realizing how nice looking a simple layer of cell shading can be. Soon enough, I'd landed on this style, and I happily drew all my characters like this for a few years. And you can even see that style reflected in how I do lots of my animated character models. It was a far reach from how I used to do my art, but it became my signature style for a long time, and I loved it. I only recently started trying to branch out from it, but it's still an important part of how my art style has developed. And as your interests change, your art style will change, like what's happening with me currently. But if you're ever in a stylistic rut, I highly recommend trying to copy some of your favorite artists. Even the ones you think you'd never enjoy drawing like. And heck, even send them the art you're making in their style. I'm sure they'll love to see that they're inspiring other artists to follow their passion. So get out there and get drawing, because as great as imitation is for helping you grow, the most important thing is really to just keep drawing. Along with Mr. Laufman's Instagram, I'm linking the channels of all the artists whose styles I ripped off in this video. They're all a big inspiration on my work, and if you don't already follow them, you should definitely check them out. And specific shout out to Pantsless Pajamas, who did the whole copying other artists' styles for a video thing first, but she actually managed to do it for the whole video. Oh, I wonder if she'll see this. That'd be super cool. Hi PJ, if you're watching, you're the best. Okay, bye everybody. <laughs>